Hello, I'm going to do a quick little video showing off a RCA 2S7, model 2S7, that uses a three-speed record changer, I believe that was made by Voice of Music. And this record changer is RCA number 930409. And uh, this has 3378 and 45 with a neutral between 45 and 78. Originally used a crystal cartridge, of course, which is which was dead, and so I've been able to replace this crystal cartridge with a uh, a ceramic cartridge, and uh, did some wiring changes. It isn't uh, it isn't original, and the owner knows that, and the owner really didn't want me to go any further than to change that cartridge and make it work with the amplifier. So that's what we've done, and uh, it has a detector to detect the 12 inch record right here just like most voice of music uh, record changers of the time and a little button here to detect whether a uh, 7 inch record is on or a 10 or a 12 so pretty standard fare for voice of music record changer um, I basically took the thing apart cleaned it lubricated it changed the cartridge and made all the adjustments um, there are still some little things to do, but it's pretty well working the way it's supposed to. This is the amplifier. It's uh, basically uh, a little uh, uh, six, seven. I'm sorry, seven tube amplifier that also uses a it used originally a selenium rectifier, which was mounted right out here, and I've changed that, of course, over to uh, a diode rectifier and um, one end. 5408 I believe is the one I use 3 amp 1000 volt and basically uh, I put a thermistor in there and and some other things to make that work and uh, so it's your basic um, AM AM only receiver and this is part of the console it uses a loop antenna and a small speaker I believe it's an 8 inch speaker that goes into a console that looks something like this and uh, so let's give it a whirl shall we okay so we're going to play a little bit of Guy Lombardo here in just a minute but let's turn on the uh, radio first and this uses a mode switch that is the on off radio and record player switch uh, and tone switch all in one so you turn it past the first one as you can see that uh, um, the uh, you know, typical of an All-American 5, you know, it comes on real bright and then quiets down right away. Now that thermistor helps it some. Now there it is brightening up again as the tubes start to conduct. Let's turn it up a little bit. Let's find a station here. Now I haven't put it back in the console yet, so... Um, oh man, it's coming out on vitamin D and we've actually put... There we go. I want to stay too long in any one station. I have lots of fluorescent lights going, so you'll hear a little bit of buzzing in the background. That's something that, if I turn off all my lights, that goes away. And the owner knows that uh, this is going to be put in a place where there aren't fluorescent lights nearby, so the owner's aware of that. So, let's put it on record player. So, there's the tone. And now we have it on record player. So what we're going to do is I'm going to try and do this one-handed. I'm not so good at the one-handed thing. I'm kind of new at this video thing. So let's get out a record. This is an old, this is an old vintage record. Uh, I collect, I collect vintage vinyl, and I'm a big fan of uh, 30s and 40s big band music. So uh, Guy Lombardo fits right in. So typical voice of music, lift the, uh, the record holder arm, place the, uh, the record on the spindle, there we go, it's hard to do this one handed, you don't realize that at first, get that there, drop the arm on, and let's turn on the record changer, I forgot to remove the needle protector. 
which is uh, something I leave on most of the time. There we go. Set that aside. I bought this at uh, Voice of Mu Music Audio Enthusiasts. They do, uh, Gary does a real good job there of uh, getting me the stuff I need. So let's give her a whirl. So let's hit the reject. And there goes the tone arm. Drops the record. There we go. And of course it mutes it some until it lays it down. So there we go. Now we won't play it for very long in any one song because I don't really know if this is uh, public domain music or not. So we'll give it a try here. Oops. So it's pretty cool stuff. This was a well-made little record player. RCA had some of the best stuff of its time. This thing was made in 1951. 50 or 51, and I really basically cleaned it up and, like I said, disassembled it and cleaned it, lubricated it, and made all the adjustments. And there we go. Little, little bump there on the record. I have to be careful not to bump the bench. So now I want to take the record and shut the machine down. So I just hit the reject, and there we go. It's rejecting. It'll set the, neat, the uh, tone arm back where it's supposed to be and shut her off. Excellent. Now you can see it's not the cleanest record in the world, but this machine isn't exactly the most modern, sophisticated light tone arm machine in the world either. Now I did, uh, I did set the tracking force at about six grams. I figured that was a good compromise. It is adjustable on this particular machine. Some are and some are not. These voice of musics are pretty good machines. They Basically, you adjust the tracking force by loosening this screw here and, and, and allowing a spring to move this little, there's a little, uh, little adjuster here that basically puts some, some force to pull the needle, to, or I'm sorry, to pull the tone arm kind of up a little bit. And you, as you stretch that spring, it puts more force on the tone arm and makes its uh, tracking force less. So when I first started doing this, it was about 12 grams. That was crazy for this particular ceramic cartridge. It's looking for 4 to 8 grams. So I set her at 6, and it's working well. Now, I, as you can see, this is a 78 and uh, LP um, cartridge with, uh, you know, replaceable stylus. And um, this replaces that, as I said, that ceramic cartridge. And I left that little... Um, the little flip knob on there from the original cartridge just for looks so that it uh, I didn't have a big hole in the front of the tone arm but it really isn't functional it doesn't do anything now and uh, so there we go and this does not have FM it's just simply an AM radio and it's uh There we go. So it takes a little getting used to that that's a tone and the mode and the uh, power switch. So. And if I turn off some of my lights here, there we go. Kill that fluorescent light and magically all the noise goes away. It's a nice little radio, and, and believe it or not, that little speaker, that little 8-inch speaker does a nice job in the cabinet. It sounds a little flat here on the bench, but when you mount that up in the big wood cabinet, it does a nice job. And this thing will go plenty loud. It, uh, it plays pretty loud, and uh, it's, it's uh, all around a good little unit, and I think the customer is going to be very happy with it. So there we go. It is an RCA 2S7 with a uh, RCA Victor 930409 series record changer, which was made by Voice of Music. I'm not sure. I think that's a 1200 series, but I, I don't know VM stuff as well as some do. But uh, there you have it. That's all for now.